Hey everyone, Ryan Mentz here, and in today's video I'm talking about this little guy. It's the Sennheiser MKE 200 microphone, and what you're hearing right now is actually coming off this microphone. I got it running into a Rode Wireless Go, which is transmitting over to the camera right now. And I have this Frankenstein up a little bit with the smartphone holder and mini tripod, but this is not how I've been typically using it. I've been using it with uh, these three, which is going to be the GoPro Hero 9, the Sony a7S III, and my smartphone. So first up, let me just give you a little bit of an overview of this microphone and the things I liked about it. And then I'll run through some tests that I uh, did with these three. And then after that, I'll tell you the things that I didn't like about so much. Quick disclaimer, Sennheiser did send me the MKE 200 here on a one-way trip. Uh, didn't stipulate I have to give a positive review or anything like that. So it's all my own opinions and unfiltered tests. Um, hopefully that would be obvious, but uh, now you know and do what you will with that information. So the first thing that you're probably going to notice about the MKE 200 is that it's compact and it's lightweight and they did something pretty interesting with the design in my opinion and that's that it's just one solid unit so it's got this external uh, plastic windscreen just built right in and then on the inside of that is where they have the shock mount and on the shock mount is where they got the super cardioid microphone capsule and by super cardioid, that means it's going to be picking up sounds uh, directly from the front and it rejects sounds from the sides and it minimizes them from the rear. And lending itself to the compactness is going to be the fact that it doesn't run on any batteries. So there's no external batteries they have to add to it and it doesn't have any internal batteries that you have to recharge or anything like that. It's just going to use the uh, power from your camera. And uh, another thing is that it has no external controls to it. So there's no like audio levels or anything on the actual microphone. All that's going to be done on these cameras as well. And then speaking of hooking it up to your cameras, uh, right now I'm using the included TRS cable, which is running into the Rode Wireless Go. And that's the same kind of cable you'd use to go directly to a camera or a GoPro Hero 9. But what's also cool is they include a TRRS cable. And that's going to be the cable you need to run it to a smartphone. Um, in the case of my iPhone, I have to use a little lightning adapter as well. So um, I use the lightning adapter and then the TRRS cable goes into this. And you got uh, a lot better audio quality going right into your phone. Um, I'll show you in the tests what I mean about that. And also in this uh, little baggie, they got uh, this beautiful, furry, fluffy windscreen. So like I said, it does have a built-in plastic windscreen, which actually does a pretty nice job. But if you want to, you can add this and that improves the wind dampening as well. But without further ado, let's just jump right into the test with these three. And I will say it's kind of funny with the GoPro Hero 9. Uh, it does have the media mod on it, which adds this uh, improved microphone over the base GoPro. Uh, but you'll see when compared to the MKE 200 attached to it that the uh, media mods does not hold its own. So I've actually been using this combo a lot and it's been super awesome. And then with the A7S III, I have a little bonus for you where I've compared the Rode Video Micro to the MKE 200. So you can compare those two. The Rode's really popular. so. It might interest you. And then with the smartphone, I uh, use the TRRS cable to use uh, the MKE 200. And I'm comparing it against the internal microphone uh, with the iPhone. So let's get started. Roll that footage. Is this thing on? All right, so I'm recording this with the GoPro Hero 9. And I have it with the Sennheiser MKE 200. And right now, I don't have the wind filter on it. And uh, as you can see, I'm using this with a little selfie stick, but uh, probably a foot and a half away, maybe. And uh, anyways, this is what it sounds like. There is, uh, as you can see from the grass, there's a bit of wind going on. Uh, according to my watch, I'm at about 13 mile per hour winds and uh, some nice seagulls flying overhead. So anyways, this is with the Sennheiser MKE 200 on the GoPro. Uh, let's see what it sounds like now with uh, the just internal microphone of the GoPro. Um, well, actually, to clarify, I have the media mod on there. So, the media mod microphone of the GoPro. Alright, so this is what it's going to sound like with uh, just the media mod microphone of the GoPro. And uh, so, this is without the Sennheiser MKE 200 attached. Um, the wind died down a little bit, so I'm not sure if it's totally fair. Uh, it seems to be picking up again, 
Uh, again, this is the GoPro Hero 9 with the Media Mod microphone. Uh, might as well call it the internal microphone because I've heard the difference between these two and the Sennheiser kicks its butt. So uh, this is what it sounds like. All right, the winds are picking up. Uh, anyways, I added the uh, Sennheiser MKE 200 back on and I'm feeling the wind gusts now actually blowing on the GoPro, but I have it on the GoPro Hero 9. Uh, seeing how the wind filter picks up. I should also mention that with the GoPro, uh, I do have the wind cut filter or whatever, like the internal uh, software. I have that set to like a standard. Um, I just assume, I'm just kind of setting up the GoPro how I assume everyone uh, is probably just gonna run the GoPro standard uh, to vlog with. And so this is what it sounds like with the Sennheiser MKE 200 with the windscreen on. And it's uh, definitely blowing on it, so you should be able to tell if it's doing anything. Oh, hi, I'm back again. And uh, so once again, I'm working with the GoPro Media Mod microphone, the internal microphone, and uh, still blowing pretty good here. Uh, I should also mention that I'm using the auto levels of the GoPro. So I have auto levels on and the wind cut filter standard. Um, just seeing how it sounds for, I guess, most people who would vlog with this. Uh, just opening up the box and going. Um, I should say that the wind definitely felt uh, stronger with the MKE 200 test I just did with the windscreen on. Uh, but maybe if I talk long enough, it'll start blowing again. And uh, right about now, I can kind of feel it blowing against the GoPro. Uh, but we'll see how it sounds. And uh, let's move on to the next test then. All right, next up, I'm about an arm's length away from the Sony A7S III brand new snazzy camera, seeing how it works with the new uh, Sennheiser MKE 200 on top. Right now, uh, the wind is still blowing and there's currently uh, no fluffy windscreen on the microphone, so we can kind of tell how the uh, external built-in windscreen works. Um, hopefully it works pretty nice. Uh, it does add a little bit more bulk to it, um, but it would all pay off if you don't have to keep on uh, remembering to add the little fuzzy whenever it gets windy. Um, that'll be nice. Next up, I'm going to try it without the microphone at all so you can see how the camera sounds with the internal microphone. Alright, for comparison's sake, again, I'm one arm's length away from the lens. And this is with the internal microphone of the A7S III. And to compare it with the Sennheiser, I did have to bump up the audio level for the internal mic. Um, with the external Sennheiser microphone, you can drop down that DB a little bit, uh, give you a little more breathing space. Um, still windy, you should hopefully be able to hear that, or I guess maybe I should say hopefully not. That'd be nice if an internal mic was actually pretty awesome, but uh, this is what it sounds like. This is me rambling on and really having nothing to say in particular. But the next test, I'm gonna add on the windscreen, the fuzzy windscreen to the Sennheiser MK200 and we can see if that makes any difference at all. All right, so we got some wind blowing and I'm once again one arm's length away from the Sony a7S III with the Sennheiser MK200 on the top with the fuzzy windscreen. And boy, is that a beautiful fuzzy windscreen. Uh, hopefully it's doing its job. I'm not hearing a bunch of whooshes. Um, it's not clipping out. I can see from the uh, recording levels that it's not clipping, but uh, we'll see if it's uh, being super annoying. What's annoying me is this little bug on the lens that uh, it's just chilling. He's just chilling. Anyways, we'll move on to the next test where I'm going to use the Sennheiser MKE 200 with my iPhone. All right, so for my next act, I have this uh, Sennheiser MKE 200 on the iPhone. And uh, what's nice about this microphone is that it comes uh, in the box with a cord that hooks uh, almost directly up to an iPhone. I still need the adapter to get to the lightning port, but uh, otherwise it's good to go. You can uh, record straight off your phone, which is nice. Um, as you can see with the Sony a7S uh, footage here behind the scenes, I'm using not much of a selfie stick, but it's, uh, it gets something so I don't have to hold the phone directly. And hopefully this sounds pretty good. It's definitely uh, probably going to be a bump up. Definitely probably. It's probably going to be a bump up from the iPhone microphone. Still got some wind going on. I don't have the fuzzy windscreen. Um, hi, as you can see. But uh, hopefully this sounds great. And I'll switch over to the iPhone microphone now. All right, so this is what it sounds. Uh, same situation with the iPhone XS, except for now I'm just using the internal microphone so there's no Sennheiser action going on. 
Uh, there's some cute birdies that are uh, flying around me. A bunch of seagulls up above me. Uh, just good old times. You got about 41 minutes until sunset, so the light's going down. Still got some wind. Uh, that'll probably start dying down too. And so let's move on to the next test with the fuzzy windscreen on top of the Sennheiser MKE 200. All right, y'all, you want it, you got it. You got the fuzzy windscreen action happening on the iPhone XS. Uh, on top of that Sennheiser MKE 200 that I keep talking about for some reason in a video review about the Sennheiser MKE 200. But uh, I'm really just trying to buy time until I get some wind pickup. Oh yeah, here we go. All right, how's that sound? I bet you can't hear a thing. I've been kind of playing these back on my phone and it sounds pretty solid. Uh, I can't compare right now uh, on a professional reviewer level, but uh, I'm gonna have to say the Sennheiser is pretty sweet. But I got a little trick up my sleeve that I might talk about, but I'm instructed by a cute bird. Um, I got a little trick up my sleeve. I got the uh, Rode Video Micro along with me that I'm just gonna do a quick comparison with and uh, we'll see how they differ. I'm gonna put this back on the uh, A7S III though and I'm gonna review it that way um, between the two. So uh, let's do that. Doop, 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 doop. All right, so I decided for this test, is that good? I decided for this test that it's gonna be a, a blind, blind, blind test. I don't know what you call those. Um, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. You don't know which one this is. It could be either of them. It could be the Rode Video Micro or it could be, uh, I'm actually, a, okay. <laughs> it could be the Rode Video Micro or it could be the Sennheiser MKE 200. Who knows what it is? Uh, I don't know what it is. Oh, I just ruined it. I can actually see what this is, but what does it sound like? Um, does it sound pretty good? Does this kind of sound on par of what I've been doing? That would might make sense if it was the Sennheiser. Or does it sound crappier? Um, can you hear the geese? Oh, there's a bunch of geese right there. That's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm gonna switch microphones to the uh, other one. I should also mention both of them uh, have that fuzzy windscreen on right now. And those geese are passing right overhead. Anyways, I'm gonna switch over to the other one and you tell me which is better, uh, which sounds better. Let's go. Oh, hi. Uh, so what we just heard We'll call it microphone A, and this is gonna be microphone B. And so the wind is uh, back at it, so that's nice comparison-wise. Uh, how's this sound? Does this sound a little bit better? Does this sound a little bit worse? Does this sound about the same? I should say that the Sennheiser MK200 is a little bit more expensive than the Video Micro, uh, but personally, I like the design of the Sennheiser more than uh, the floppy uh, Video Micro. However, the video micro does break down into a smaller size if that's important to you. I kind of like that everything's uh, solid and uh, you got that wind filter kind of built in with the Sennheiser. Um, hopefully you can tell by now which one you prefer between A and B. And maybe I should uh, try them without the windscreen. I don't know. I don't know what you guys want. I can't hear you. I can't, I can't hear you guys. Hello? Oh, you, okay, so you guys do want to hear what they sound like without the fuzzy windscreens. Okay, so this is a uh, microphone B still, and then uh, I'm gonna switch over to microphone A without the fuzzy windscreen. So let's do that now, break. Hi guys. All right, so I'm back on microphone A, and uh, this might be the last test really. I still have the in-studio stuff that I'm gonna use the uh, Rode Compact, no, Rode Wireless Go. I'm gonna use that and uh, I'm gonna hook up the Sennheiser to that and do my little talky talk in studio, which you probably already know because you're watching this video back on YouTube. But um, yeah, so this is back to microphone A um, to keep it nice and confusing. So what do you like, A or B? This is without the fuzzy windscreen. And then here's the awkward moment where I have to talk about the negatives because like I said in the disclaimer, I didn't uh, actually pay for this. Sennheiser sent it to me. And on top of that, I don't really have a lot of negatives to report, so um, sorry, it's kind of weird. But uh, I will say that it is controversial, I think, a bit to have the output 
for the cord out the front rather than the rear, like you see it on every other microphone. Uh, I see why they did it. It doesn't flop around with the like LCD screen and stuff and on the back. Um, rather, how you would have to like wrap it around the front or whatever, and then go into the uh, microphone in on the camera. Uh, this way, it's just like in the front. However, now you kind of have a lot of this extra cord, which kind of bounces against the lens itself. And being that it picks up sound from the front more than the rear, you kind of, I don't know, it's a little bit different. Um, I kind of love it and hate it at the same time. And the other thing is going to be about the price. So uh, at $100, that seems pretty steep when everyone kind of knows that you buy the video micro. Um, if you're trying to do vloggy stuff or like starting up and you just need a little uh, improved version of an internal microphone that you have on the cameras. Uh, everyone kind of knows uh, video micro is what you do. And so they're kind of going up against that as a new product. And I don't think being $40 uh, more expensive than that is helping them. So I think it would be cool if it was more like $80. Uh, kind of still keep that premium vibe they're going on with uh, the more expensive price. But uh, I see what you're paying for. I mean, it is. I like this a lot more design-wise than the video micro. So... Um, I don't know if I like it $40 more than that, but maybe, I don't know. You saw the test. You got, uh, hopefully an informed decision on what you should do with your own money. All right. So that's going to do it for the Sennheiser MKE 200. Go ahead and leave a comment below on what you thought about it, uh, based on the tests. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.